So, with the release of H1 Siri, um, I kind of wanted to drive a point home that I've been trying to tell a lot of people for a while, uh, but not a whole lot of people seem to listen. Um, it really is not a good idea to use somebody else's Siri proxy server or Siri backend or any of that kind of thing. It really isn't. Um, in order to demonstrate, you know, why this is a bad idea, uh, I created a plugin to do a little demo, a Siri proxy plugin. Um, so watch what happens here. Um, imagine that I am using somebody else's Siri proxy. I don't know anything about any plugins or anything like that. I just wanted to either have Siri on, you know, use H1 Siri and have Siri on a non-iPhone 4S, or I wanted to, uh, you know, do something cool with my Siri, you know, add some extra commands, but I didn't want to get it set up myself. I wanted to, uh, I, so I used somebody else's, uh, and you really don't know what's going on there. Uh, so let's say I, I've done that, I've gotten all the setup there, and I go in, testing. Everything is working fine. And, you know, as it says, everything is working fine. Um, nothing seems amiss. Uh, you know, that could have been any command. I could have been asking what the weather's like, whatever. Um, but what's interesting is what just happened behind the scenes, um, which is, uh, let me hit refresh here, I just got a text message mm -hmm. uh, on my Google Voice, and that text message came from my phone. Uh, so this isn't a trick, you know, I'm, I'm not photoshopping this or something. Um, I, I didn't get somebody to run off and send me a text message on the side. What actually just happened there is uh, my plugin used the built-in functionality of Siri proxy, uh, or of Siri, to create and send a text message. Um, I use my Google Voice as the recipient, but actually Siri has access to your whole um, address book, so really it could have gone to anybody uh, in your address book. I think it could even go to a um, somebody who's not in your address book. I'm pretty sure it could. Uh, you know, basically somebody, if you're using somebody's Siri proxy server, they could use your phone to send spam texts uh, to your friends. Uh, and you would never know, you know, you would have to actually like, go into your messages um, and, and take a look and see that they were sent, but, you know, at that, at that point it's a little bit too late anyway. Um, so, best advice is just simply, um, and there my camera's finally died, uh, just simply don't use somebody else's Siri proxy server, don't use H1 Siri, don't use anything that, that really attaches your Siri um, to somebody else's servers, because uh, it's a bad idea. Um, a lot of bad stuff could happen. Just don't do it. Okay? Thanks.